This is the first known case of marital discrimination in the UK. It was ruled earlier this week, and this is after a boss of two married co-workers, you know, so husband and wife who worked in the same company, the boss fired the wife when the couple split up. Now, the judge said the claimant was being subjected to less favourable treatment on the grounds of her marital status, and the boss simply has no other explanation for that treatment other than he was siding with the husband. OK, so the judge was saying it was discrimination, you know, the boss sided with the husband. And the story is, I think, that the husband was telling the, the male boss things about their relationship and things about yeah. the wife, and he client clearly sided. What do you think about this, Brenda? You know, have you heard of any cases of kind of discrimination at work? Have you ever had that? Actually, I have had that sort of a, a similar situation. I wasn't married to the person. Um, I, was, I was in a relationship with them, but I'd been working for a company for about three years, um, and I was doing a great job. Um, and then I started seeing somebody within that company, um, and they had seen, they were previously, not at the same time as me, but they were previously seeing someone else that happened to work at the same company in a different department. So, you know, it was a bit intertwined, but not quite. Um, and my boss, who I'd been working for perfectly for three years, all of a sudden, I wasn't doing my job correctly or, you know, but it was it was all these different excuses that were coming up as soon, but they only started coming up as soon as I started going out with this person. So for three years, it's been fine. And then all of a sudden I start seeing somebody and now there's a problem with my work. Um, and I found out um, from a few of the other employers that he was friends with, the, with my then partner's ex-girlfriend wow. and so wasn't happy that I was seeing this person. But I suppose you can't, um, you can't prove it, can you? That, you can't prove you that can't that was prove. the reason. So that's no. a tricky one, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. I, can't, I couldn't prove it, but it was just... If you've been there for... I've been there for three years, worked mm. the same job, you know, you know, a great job, and then all of a sudden that was the only thing yeah. that had changed. So, I don't know you know, the, the, the total circumstances of, of your situation, but it does definitely change a dynamic, doesn't it? If you're in a working environment, office environment, especially if somebody more junior starts dating the boss, I think sometimes people in the middle then go, they're getting preferential treatment. Well, and it does, ask... even when people try to accept it, or even when that couple try to hide it, you know, a lot of people mm. try to hide they're having a relationship. I think it does change the dynamic. How is it for you and Eamon then? Because you were, I mean, like, would you ever talk to anyone in the workplace about your and Eamon's arguments? Uh, what do you mean? Well, to, um, to a certain degree, well, people see it a lot of the time. <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> it's kind of like live on air. <laughs> no, but people, you know, people, our producers and things, if we're in a meeting, they would definitely see Eamon and I, you know, have a disagreement. Because I would say, we're not having an argument, I just don't agree with him on this point, that's all, you know. Yeah. Um, and if it was a man having that, they'd just be disagreeing on a point. I'm, yeah. you know. Um, so people see that anyway. But I wouldn't kind of sit and say, well, let me tell you, last night, he said this to me, yeah. he said that to me. I wouldn't take go though, so personally. Um, but I think, you know, our, we're different because we are a couple and we're in the same job. I think yeah. that's a bit different, really. But it does but make Ruth, me think... What if, if, yeah? What if, what, if, um, what if you did split up? Who would say it this morning? Oh, Brenda. <laughs> it's a bit brutal. God, brutal. <laughs> brutal but interesting. <laughs> brutal but interesting. Well... Uh, can, well, all I'll say, I was there first. <laughs> oh. Just saying, I was there first. What about you and Joe? Because you work together. We have. I think that with that story, it sounds like one the, the husband is really chummy with the boss. Yeah. I think that would be a really difficult scenario because you'd always think that anything that, that went wrong was because your husband was yeah. friends with the boss. I... Love working with Joe, but I find it sometimes we both find it really difficult, and there's no way that I can ever, especially with friends and family, but even in the workplace, I find it really hard to say to have the arguments in front of people because then people make an opinion, mm. and then it makes a uh, we're always going to have an argument and then be fine 10 minutes later. Yeah. But when people see an argument or hear about an argument, they then make an opinion. <coughs> 
on yeah. either person. Well, she's sort of she's yeah. obviously wearing the trousers there, or he's I know. put her down. Yeah. And then it makes the relationship harder, I think, because then you've got people sort of going, oh, well, leave him or leave her, yeah. or you know, don't be with her. And I find that all really uncomfortable. So I try and do like sly little looks <laughs> to the side. I'm kind of like. But it's interesting they're saying with this case... <laughs> twist. The under yeah. the table <laughs> what I do, like, you do the tonic at him like that. And to, to this <laughs> I just give it... Amos says to me, I flare my nostrils. <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> You've got to have a sign. The <laughs> sign, just flared her nostrils, she's not happy. But it's interesting, Nadia, with this, it was a male boss and, the, and he appears to have taken the side of the husband. But then, do we not do that with our girlfriends? Every like, single time. Sometimes you don't even know their husband. And mm. if they tell you things, you go, oh, did he? Ooh. Well, no, totally. I always, I'm very, very sexist like that. If any woman tells me <laughs> anything about her relationship, I'm completely 100% on her side. <laughs> That's not true. You're good with relationships. You are. <laughs> yeah, but I, You're I'm balanced. a bit the same. You know, it's first of all, I just go, did he, did he? Then I try to be kind of like, well, Maybe he, he was, was thinking yeah. this. <laughs> always says to me, you never say that about our relationship. He said, I listen to you with your friends going, well, on the other hand, <laughs> you know, maybe he <laughs> forgot your anniversary because he's busy. <laughs> so imagine if that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Double standards. Double standards.